It was a blacksmith's and I just loved the building. I wanted to create something that would never date but was modern in this old building with all its defects and its beauty. It has a, a history from early 1900s and it was very interesting for the builders to find evidence of horseshoes and other things that were connected with the smithy work. Is it strange to be back? Oh, I, I feel like I'm coming home, <laughs> just a different furniture. The whole place is showing that it's had a real life and it's a build of what uh, construction was at the time that it was built. The architect was Yuri Dillon from Liquid Blue. The concept was to have light, space and air. The outside wall is so enormous that you go, how on earth are they actually going to get any air in here? And I was talking to the architect and he was telling me that they had wind engineers. They peeled sections of the roof off so that you could have interior courtyards. Everything that could be walls with inside the walls of the building are glass that concertina up. Suddenly your entire house is all open and the feeling of space really changes when you do that. It can be raining, you can still have all the doors up, you've got all this gorgeous light. You went, how does that happen? We can be sitting in the couches over there and this massive breeze comes through. Like we get leaves blow in. <laughs> it's like, like a pavilion because outside is Fortitude Valley mm -hmm. with everything that that comes with. Fortitude Valley, which is oh, only but minutes from the CBD, can be perceived as crazy town. There's lots of activity. It has so many different people who make up its population. You just never know what's going to be right in your neighbourhood at any time. But here, I don't feel that. I feel like I'm in this really protected space. The thought of it being a home in what is really a very gritty area and having a beautiful home that was your cocoon was quite a beautiful dream.